everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Blair. Thank you for watching this video today. Usually I do a What's New Wednesday video every Wednesday featuring a new beauty product that has just come out. But this week with the holiday and everything, I just really wanted to do a get ready with me and make it Thanksgiving edition. So that is what I did today. I just wanted to give new products a little bit of a break and just use some of the things that I already have. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you are interested in getting ready with me and seeing how I created this makeup look, please keep watching and please subscribe if you haven't already. I post new videos every Wednesday and Friday. Thank you again for watching and let's go ahead and get started. foundation today I'm going to use two if you see my other videos you probably won't be surprised I almost always use two foundations sometimes it's the same one just in two different colors and then sometimes I just mix two different ones all together so today I'm going to use the L'Oreal 24 hour fresh wear foundation and the Revlon color stay foundation this one I've used pretty recently this I have not used in quite a while so I wanted to bring it out again so I'm gonna use a little bit of both I'm just gonna mix it on the back of my hand I'm just gonna dot some all over my face then I'm gonna use my Morphe M439 brush and I'm gonna blend that in so yeah, like I was saying, I usually do What's New Wednesday videos every Wednesday, and I do have my eye on quite a few things right now that I really want to get and try, but sometimes it just gets to be a little too much, you know? Like, stuff gets expensive, even stuff from, you know, Target, Walmart, wherever, when you constantly buy it all the time, that stuff really starts to add up. And there's a lot of new, or not a lot, but there's some new drugstore stuff that I'm really interested in. Like the new Maybelline Urban Cover Radiant Foundation. I really want to try that. I have not been able to find that anywhere. But I've tried CVS, I've tried Walgreens, I've tried Walmart, I've tried Target. And I probably need to try to order it, but it's so hard to order a foundation like that online, for me at least. I like to see it in person. So I plan to review that foundation, but as of right now, I cannot find it. So that's why I just decided to do this get ready with me this week since it's a holiday week and I just could not get my hands on something new to do for this video. I'm also very interested in the KKW Mario collab, but I really wanted to get the whole collection, but I think it's pretty sure it's $95 and I just, oh, I don't know. I just gotten so many new palettes lately and new makeup that I just felt like I couldn't justify it, so I didn't order that, but I'm very, very interested in it. And there's also the new um, ColourPop Bare Necessities palette, I think is what it's called. And I think it comes out on the 28th, on Thanksgiving. But it's um, one of the larger palettes, like the Kathleen Lights um, So Jaded palette, but it's all neutral shades. That I really want to get, which I probably will order that when it comes out on Thursday. So I actually kind of like that foundation combo, the Color Stay and the Fresh Wear. Oh, and I have the shades 150 Buff in the Color Stay and 420, does this have a name? Yeah, 420 True Beige in the Fresh Wear. For corrector today, I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star Color Corrector in Peach. I actually haven't had this for very long and I've only used it a few times. 
I liked it, but I haven't formed a full opinion on it just yet. I'm gonna blend that in with my damp mini Real Techniques sponge. Oh my gosh, I always feel so much better when I put color corrector under my eyes. It just makes the biggest difference ever. For concealer today, I'm actually gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape, which I went through a phase where I only use this concealer, but I have not been using it lately. I don't know, sometimes it's just a little too much coverage for me, but I don't know, I'm kinda in the mood to use this today. So we're gonna use it. I'm gonna use the shade Fair Light Neutral. Just gonna use that much. One thing I do not like about Shape Tape, and I'm not sure if it's just me or what, but the packaging gets so gross. Like it's when you put the wand back in, it's like it seeps out over the sides. I don't know. That really annoys me. And I blend that in with my damp Real Technique sponge. I do really like this concealer. I feel like the key is just don't use too much, really. Like kind of with anything else. Start with a little, start with less than you think you want and then you can always build up to it. To set my concealer, I'm gonna use some of my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm gonna use this small little brush. Then I'm going to take my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and take these two shades and just lightly set the rest of my face. So I feel like this year, the Black Friday deals, the ones I've seen so far at least, I wasn't that excited about makeup wise. I do think Ulta deals are usually better than Sephora. I haven't seen many of the Ulta deals. I saw Trend Mood posted on her Instagram a screenshot of them, but you couldn't see the deals very well. Um, and then on the Sephora app, you could see some of the Black Friday deals, like a sneak peek if you download the app, but I don't know. I didn't see anything on there that I was that really super excited about, which I was happy about, so I'm not that tempted <laughs> to buy too many things. You guys will have to let me know. Do you look forward to Black Friday shopping every year? I feel like I usually like Cyber Monday more than Black Friday now. And I feel like I used to be the opposite and I used to like Black Friday. Now I feel like it's all about Cyber Monday and it's just a great time to do your Christmas shopping. Pretty much everything goes on sale. Stuff that never goes on sale goes on sale. So I usually get really excited for online shopping on Cyber Monday. For bronzer, I'm gonna use this Milani Silky Matte bronzing powder. This is the shade 01 Sunlight. I've been using this a ton lately. This is a really great matte bronzer if you have more fair skin. I feel like it's the perfect tone. It's not too warm, but it's not super cool either. It's like just enough. I've really been liking this a lot. So are you guys excited for Thanksgiving? I feel like I almost sometimes look more forward to Thanksgiving than I do Christmas. I think just because to me Thanksgiving is like the start of 
the holidays and it's just, I don't know, I think it's really exciting. Okay, so there is that bronzer and then I'm going to use a little bit of my Hourglass um, Ambient Radiant Bronze Light. I'm just using a little bit of this because it's much more um, intense of a bronzer for me than that Milani one, but I do really like it. For blush, I've also been loving this blush. Since I got it, I've been using this a ton. This is the Patrick Ta Monochrome Moment Blush in the shade She Sincere. I got this during this last Sephora sale. And I've really been liking it. It's a peachy shade. Kind of um, has a little bit of a brown tone to it too. I don't know. It's really pretty. But I've been wearing this a ton since I got it. Really, really like it. I like this because he made these so that they're very buildable so they're not super intense blushes upon first application but they can be if you keep building it up so if you like more of a subtle blush not something really really intense and pigmented definitely look into these I think this comes in four different shades but I would highly recommend these I'm going to fill in my eyebrows now with my ColourPop Brow Boss Pencil I'm just gonna brush them upwards first. And this color is light brown. I like this brow pencil, but it is kind of a harder to use formula. Like you have to press down pretty hard. But I guess that could be a good thing. I'm then going to set my eyebrows with my NYX Control Freak eyebrow gel, like always. I'm going to use this NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base in the shade Light to prime my lids for eyeshadow. Okay, for eyes, I'm actually going to use this Catrice and Iman Eyeshadow Palette. It's really really pretty it's a very warm toned palette I got this a few months ago I did a full face of Clin or not a full face of Clinique a few months ago I did a full face of Catrice and I got this palette to use so I'm gonna use it again today first gonna go in with this cream shade called Fairfax and I'm just going to set that NARS eye primer base. I'm then going to go in with this shade Sunset. It's a really pretty warm toned brown and I'm going to put that in my crease. So pretty. I feel like Catrice is a very underrated drugstore brand although I will say it's a little harder to find you can find it here in the United States at Ulta but they don't have like all of their products they have a pretty small selection but one of my all-time favorite products from them is the liquid camouflage concealer I love that one 
I use that all the time. But I feel like they have some really, really good products. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade Runyon right here. It's a really pretty, really red toned brown. So I'm just going to And then I'm going to go back into Sunset. And lightly blend this out. Then I'm going to go into that really dark brown called Sweetser. A tiny, tiny little brush and I'm just going to pack a tiny bit of this right at the outer corner of the eye. And then I'll go back in with my big fluffy brush and blend some more. I'm going to take the sunset shade with a really small brush and drag this along the bottom lash line and connect it up. So I think I'm going to take the shade Laguna right here. It's a really pretty brown, kind of a bronze with some shimmer. I'm going to take it on my finger and I'm just going to apply this kind of in the center of the lid and tap it out towards the outer corner just to give a little bit of shine or a little bit of glitter to the lid. And then last, I'm going to take this shade Melrose. This is kind of a, it's a light peachy color with a little bit of shimmer to it. I'm going to take this on my finger as well. And I'm going to put this right at the inner corner of the eye. So this is the eyes look like really really pretty it's kind of bronzy with that little bit of pinky tone on the inner corner I think is really pretty so I think I'm gonna take this this is by Marc Jacobs and it is let's see the highliner gel eye crayon and it's in the shade brown out and it is a pretty dark brown but it has some shimmer reflex in there. So I'm going to take this and add just a tiny bit to the outer corner really really close to my lash line. I'm then going to curl my lashes with this Surratt eyelash curler like always for mascara i'm going to use this bobby brown smoky eye mascara i really like this mascara it doesn't get clumpy at all and i've been using this for quite a while i feel like i don't hear anyone talk about well bobby brown kind of in general i feel like people don't talk about a ton but I definitely don't hear people talking about this mascara. So good. For highlight, I'm going to use my Benefit Cookie Highlighter. This highlighter is just... I said it in a few videos, but this highlighter is just I 
I could really get away with never buying another highlighter ever again. <laughs> I just love this one so much. For lips, I'm going to use this. Rim, it's a Rimmel lip liner in the shade Spice. Stay on lip contouring pencil in the shade Spice. It's by Rimmel. And then for lips, I got this the other day. I have not tried this, so I don't know if I'm going to love this. But this is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Lip, let's see, Velvet Finish Lipstick in the shade Nutritious. It's maybe too dark. kind of pretty. I don't know why I was in CVS a few days ago and all of these were clearance, 50% off, like all the shades. So, and they had a bunch of other Physicians Formula products that were clearanced also. So I don't know if Physicians Formula is repackaging, reformulating, I don't know, or maybe CVS just isn't going to carry it anymore. Then I'm going to go over my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Thanksgiving edition. Get ready with me. I just wanted to do something really laid back and fun. Not worry about reviewing a product or anything and just get ready with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a very happy Thanksgiving and enjoy time with your friends and your family. Thank you again for watching and supporting my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video on Friday. Remember, simply be you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.